Ah, time for snow again. Wonderful. I can't wait to blow through this story because it's so unbecoming. Not to say Christmas is, which is when this story takes place, but still, snow is just... Oi. Moving on. Since it was that time of the year again, Thomas was in for the usual frustration like it was season one all over again. Elizabeth pulled into the fitter's yard with Thomas's snowplow. I don't need that silly old thing, huffed Thomas. Stuff and nonsense, steamed Elizabeth. You can't be a reliable engine if you can't get through the snow. You know I'm reliable. I just don't like my snowplow. Yes, but apparently you forget that in high snow, a snowplow will definitely make you reliable. Come on, Thomas. We know you don't like the plow, but we really don't need you getting stuck again. But according to Thomas, what Elizabeth said was rude. Not sure how, though. She was just stating fact. Having a snowplow is important in crappy weather like this. Thomas saw Sir Topham Hatt talking to Elizabeth. The Sodor Cake Factory is snowed in. Their Christmas cakes must get to the docks before the ship sails for the mainland. Let me do the job. I need you on your line, Thomas. Oh, for once he actually wants Thomas working his branch line. It's about time. Thomas has been doing all sorts of work. It's rather nostalgic to see him running around with Annie and Clarabelle. That was, after all, his biggest achievement back in Season 1 with Thomas and the Breakdown Train. Of course, Top Hat not only told Thomas to stay on his line, but also said Elizabeth was better suited, which... Now Thomas was crosser still. The snow was heavy, but Thomas arrived at every station right on time. Meanwhile, though, Elizabeth was having some stability issues on the streets. Her tires weren't gripping the road well and she was swerving a lot. As time passed, Top Hat began to worry since she wasn't at the docks yet. And hey, what do you know, Terrence is here too. How convenient. Thomas, go and look for Elizabeth at once. Yes, sir, answered Thomas. Perhaps Elizabeth isn't so reliable after all, he whispered. At the cake factory, Elizabeth was piled high with crates of Christmas cakes. Oh, wonderful. So she did make it there. Although I gotta say that Christmas cake slash Sodor pudding factory looks awfully familiar in structure. Dare I say, after Mr. Jolly's chocolate factory was totaled by Percy in Percy's Chocolate Crunch of season six, perhaps it was repurposed into this place. I mean, even the logo looks similar. I tell you, the way people try to get away with things around here, shame, shame. For Elizabeth, though, she wasn't getting away from the snow and ice. Suddenly, she was on a steep hill. Her driver applied the brakes. Elizabeth slid out of control into a deep snowdrift. Poor Elizabeth. Thomas and Terence puffed through the swirling snow. <laughs> nice. It's like good old times with these two. In the snow, riding together, hopefully reminiscing about when they met and such. When the two finally located Elizabeth, they learned what had happened. Thankfully for Terence, he did the exact same thing he did the first time we were introduced to him. Terence rescued her in no time. We will have to hurry, said Thomas. It wasn't your fault, Elizabeth. It's the slippery roads. Elizabeth felt much better. Awesome. What's cool is that Terence didn't even struggle pulling her out. He literally hightailed it out of there, super quick. And thanks to Thomas's hustle, he was able to get Elizabeth and the puddings to the harbor where Top Hat was still waiting. Man, must have been a slow day for him. Now the children will have their Christmas cakes, said Thomas. Well done, said Sir Topham Hat. Oh, thank you, Thomas, said Elizabeth. You and I are both reliable. Thomas agreed. That's good to know. Even though Thomas was annoyed by Elizabeth last season, too. I don't know, it just feels odd how Thomas has gotten easily insulted by her twice now. Yeah, she is a little rough around the edges, but she's not super rude. After all, by the end, Thomas was in agreement. So much for that. 
It still was a nice story, though, because Thomas also got to work with Terrence again, although hearing some actual dialogue between the two would have been appreciated. Seeing them work together brought back fond memories. Music didn't vary much in this episode, but viewers definitely heard Thomas's new theme loud and clear this time in a number of scenes. For locations, fans get to see the redesigned sets with Snow and Hackenbeck Station as the one new spot. There's also Maithwaite Station, Reneus's Viaduct, Sudry Castle, and the Sodor Pudding Factory, which is probably a front for Mr. Jolly's Chocolate Factory. Just kidding. Next episode is Trusty Rusty. Thanks for watching. Thank you.